Oh, that's no good. Give me my bat. <laughs> oh. I want my bat. Give me my bat back. This is my. No, this is my. No, I'm not going on YouTube like that. Oh, you don't mind me though. No. <laughs> this is my cricket bat guitar that I made, Corby North Ant. It's probably the best one on the internet. As you can see, there is a miniature, little miniature um, cricket bat ball there. Plus, there's my dad's medals he won in the war, the Burma Star and the Africa Star. It's just simply a Slazenger bat that I've uh, cut into there, look, put it together, fender, put fender stickers on it like that, but it doesn't really, it's not a fender, it, it's just to make it look a bit posher I suppose. Straight neck, very straight neck, um, although the bat's curved, the neck going into the bridge is really, really, really good, uh, you know, it's only just about, what, three mil? at the 12th fret which isn't that's not bad at all um, it plays just like a, a normal guitar it's only that the transducer or whatever it's called is underneath the bridge there knobs on the back are tone and volume the background music's the gospel choir across the road getting ready for their Sunday thing um, just about £100 to make. I quite like it. Oops, wait a minute. Um, I'll put it down there. It's, uh, it plays really well. Actually, the, the cricket bat itself acts as a soundboard and it gives it a really good sustain, which is something I'm quite surprised about. I didn't think it would play that well. It doesn't sound tinny. It's got quite a nice sound to it. But there you are, Tom Bingham's cricket bat guitar. The end.